Welcome to Toxic Masculinity's Let's Play of Skyrim. I'm Mr. Anderson, as always with me is Cassandra. Hello! Okay, and uh, as I'm sure you've noticed, she's uh, wearing a bikini. <laughs> okay, yes, that is definitely a mod. It is the Bikini Trouble mod. Alright, and you might be asking, well, why do I have her in this bikini? And then again, you may not care why. But, uh, basically, I just want to show you, well, let her let you get a good look at the tattoo that you already knew was there, but I put a new tattoo on her, just so you guys can see. Okay. Oh. Alright. Now, I'm not going to have her run around like this on the adventure, you know, obviously, but, um, you know, this is good for, I don't know, certain role-playing situations, and, uh, you know, so I can show off the tattoos. I mean, not that Cassandra minds, do you? No, at all. I mean, Cassandra would probably go naked. Well, no, she wouldn't go naked. Yes, I would. You would? <laughs> sure, it's not much, huh? Uh, well, yeah, that's true. I mean, that's but that's why I don't have you do it, because I don't want you to get that on you. Okay, so, um, let's go ahead and, uh, and yes, there's Lydia in the background, and, uh, this is, oh, and, uh, I also kind of changed your face a little bit. Uh, it looks a little bit different. I sculpted it just a little bit more. I think it looks better. Okay, so... Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, let's get her dressed here. Alright, and uh, let's put the back on. And, okay. Okay, great. So we do have a uh, mission geared up for us, so we'll go ahead and do that. We're going to uh, do the Gilded Green mission, so... Uh, you ready for this, Lydia? Okay, yep. Yeah. Alright, so, uh, let's go and do that. Should be Danica right here. It's a shame, isn't it? Uh, uh, what's a shame? I heard something happened to the tree at the temple. The Gilder Green, yes. It's a bit of an eyesore at the moment. More of a problem for the pilgrims than for me, but not many of them around anymore. What's so special about this tree? To the east of here is a hidden grove where the Elder Gleam resides. It's the oldest living thing in Skyrim, maybe all of Tamriel. Our tree here in the city was grown from a cutting of that tree. You can still feel the glory of the mother tree through it. Even its name is an echo. Oh. Is there any way to revive the tree? I've thought about that. Trees like this never really die, they only slumber. I think if we had some of the sap from the parent tree, we could wake up its child. But even if you could get to the Elder Gleam, you couldn't tap it. Not with any normal metal. Hmm. Interesting. What kind of weapon would work? Elder Gleam is older than metal, from a time before men or elves. To even affect it, you have to tap into the old magic. You'll have to deal with the Hag Ravens. I've heard about the weapon they've made for sacrificing Spriggans. It's called Nettlebane. The hags terrify me, or I would have gone after it myself. I'll get Nettlebane for you. Your spirit is strong. Kinareth's winds will guide your path. It's held in a Hagraven nest called Orphan Rock. Okay, Orphan Rock. Okay, so, alright, so we gotta go to Orphan Rock and get a magical dagger for cutting into the tree. And before I do that, it might be good to be to go into the alchemy shop and uh, maybe make some potions that I might need later, so see you guys in a bit here. Okay, and we're back, and uh, we're just outside Helgen, right over there. This is gonna be a good starting point, so we're going to... Okay, yes, we're gonna go off this way, okay? And uh, we should come across the road here fairly soon. And uh, the Orphan Rock will be up there. So let's uh, grab some stuff for on our way here. Okay. Alright, so. Okay. Box. Okay, so um, as far as my mod list goes, I mean, that's, um, I'm, I can't really think if there's anything else that I need to, 
Anything else that I uh, would have didn't tell you guys about? Um, let me see something here. Okay, actually, it should be up here. So let's go ahead and uh, let me go ahead and get sneaky right here because they should. Because there's going to be some uh, necromancers around here. But Raven should be around here pretty soon here, eventually. Um, why is Lydia out? You think you stand a chance? Damn it, Lydia. Okay. Unfortunately, they didn't have the ingredients at the store to make that, and uh, black mage robes, generic magicka, 75% faster. Uh, hopefully the other one... Uh, oh, there she is. Okay. Nope, same stuff. Okay. Now let's see if we can see us already. Okay, I think Hagrid is probably up there. Could be wrong, but I believe she's up there. Okay, cool. <laughs> yep, that's not a good sign. Or, well, I mean, so it is a good sign because it means we're getting close, but. Alright, Orphan Rock Discover. Nice. Somebody still sees us. Let's see if we can get the bow out. Let's see if there's any poison damage out there. Strength, warrior, landing weapons. Okay. Gonna hold off on that for right now. What was that? Potions, uh, minor magic, uh, yeah, let's get that. Fortify health, that might come in handy. Actually, you know what might be a good idea if I were to switch over to this spell again. Alright. Okay, and Plum Rusher. Oh, no, plum rusher. Alright, they're healing stuff up here. Okay, and I think, um, where's that? Yeah, I've got a potion of fortified destruction. That'd be a good 32% long stronger and health is increased by you. So let's do that. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, great, now I'm on a match. Good. Alright, so, um, do I still have a dagger or something? Or uh, no. Yeah, I'll get out here with the pickaxe. See if you can get out of the way. This goes for you. Yes, I am mining a hag raven. <laughs> See what kind of horror I can get out of her. Uh, oh, yay, nettle bean. Hag raven feathers. Okay. Alright. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look. Ooh, jeez. Search a spriggan. I almost feel sorry for the poor thing. Okay, and let's hey, take a death bell and lesser soul gem, hag raven feathers, and. This other stuff. It says use arcane enchanter. Okay. 
I don't think there's anything I can, uh, well, there's stuff I can enchant, but, yeah, I got a couple soul gems, but that wouldn't, ooh, you know what I should do? Let's put a, uh, soul trap enchantment on my bow, hunting bow. Uh, yes. And, uh, now let's just use the petty soul gem, because... Okay, great. Awesome. So now we've got Nettledane and got okay, we've got some stuff we can loot here. Um let's just jump on down here. Ooh, ow. Alright, where did that where was that camp? I saw some tents over here. Where, oh there, there we are. Ow! That one got <laughs> Excuse me. Okay. Uh, an adept chest, huh? Alright. Okay, this is going to be very difficult with a lock picking skill. <laughs> um, never mind. Oh, six gold, jeez. But uh, I'll have to remember that for later. Okay. It's just a sack of flour. See, it's an old sack. Ampoles. Search the skeleton. Eight gold. Oh, let's see if this works yet. Okay, and nothing other than mage robes and the boots and the iron dagger. Okay, well. Why am I hearing? Okay, I think it's just, it's just flames of cheese. What the heck are they doing to these screens up here? Alright, so, okay, I think I'm going to go ahead and uh, move on back to Whiterun and uh, turn in the dagger. See you guys in a minute. Okay, welcome back, and I'm very sorry, but you guys missed a vampire attack. Here's the thrall over here, and here's the uh, master vampire after I lose him, of course. Uh, fortunately, no citizens were killed, and uh, <clears throat> yep, we uh, did a pretty good job. I kind of stayed out of it for the most part, or I actually got close because I didn't want to hit, you know, a guard with my fire. Otherwise, you know how that goes, you know, try to help them save the city from vampires, and they get all mad at you. Okay, but um, I don't think... Priestess is going to be out. Well, she's probably still in the temple. Have you though. met my father? He's a steward up at Dragon's Reach. Yep, I know that. Okay, so if we go to the temple, she should be in there. So let's go ahead and let's go to the temple. That's not the temple. The temple oh. that should be up here. Oh, there we go. Hold on. Fine. Be that way. Okay. Uh, temple is right over here. Oh, friend. Yes. Hello, Vixen. I guess she's the tempstress who hangs out here. See, I feel told you I got the tempstress mod. And there is one of the tempstresses. What is it? What has happened to the Gilder Green? I have traveled long here to worship beneath its branches. It was taken by a lightning strike. Wish I had time to deal with it. But it's hard enough with all these wounded from the war. Please, don't just let it stay like this. It's disgraceful. Oh. I really don't have time to deal with you right now. Please just let me get back to my work. But this is supposed to be your work. So, have you gotten Nettlebane back from those filthy hag ravens yet? Uh, yes. Yes, I have found Nettlebane for you. Oh, I... Well, I honestly didn't expect you to come back. So of course, I'm glad you did. Now, Thanks. I don't really want to touch that thing, though. Do you think you could handle the next steps? Jeez, are you sure I'll make it back? <clears throat> what needs to be done? Elder Gleam Sanctuary Grove is to the east of here. You can use Nettlebane to retrieve some of its sap. Was I correct in hearing that you were traveling to the Grove of the Elder Gleam? Um, yeah. Yes, you were. 
Feel free to use God bless you, Hale. Was I correct in hearing that you were traveling to the Grove of the Elder Gleam? Um, like I just said, yes, can I help you? I am a traveler, a pilgrim. I follow the voice of Kinnereth wherever it can be heard. I've dreamed of seeing Elder Gleam for years. Might I travel alongside you? I promise not to get in the way. Um, I'd rather not have company right now. Other than Lydia, of course. I understand. Some journeys must be taken alone. I'll be here if you change your mind. Yeah, that might seem mean, but uh, trust me, I've done this with that guy before, and uh, he is pretty much useless. If anything, he just gets in the way. God bless you, Hale. And besides, you know, I don't really like particularly carrying, you know, carrying Lydia around because she gives away my position. But, but you know why she's here. So, okay. Hey guys, I'm going to end it right here, and that is going to be it for now. We'll go and uh, take care of the rest of the Gilded Green tomorrow. As always, I'm Mr. Anderson, and this is Cassandra. Goodbye, everybody. Yep, goodbye, everybody, and remind you all to rejoice as you bathe in your own toxic masculinity, and have a good day.